hello today is a requested video some of my subscribers have asked me to do a kitchen tour after i've mentioned about my newly renovated kitchen in one of my live streams i don't make videos like this because it's different and a difficult content to do but since you are dear to me i decided to give it a go i'm going to show you the heart of my home my small minimalist kitchen first i just want to mention that i designed this kitchen of course with the help of a contractor for the technical details like the materials uh, measurements and other things so far i'm happy and satisfied with the outcome and i love the color and finishes the design everything except the backsplash which is temporary because i couldn't decide on what tiles to use whether ceramic porcelain or natural stones so in order to protect it i installed this 3d self-adhesive uh tiles yeah which i will definitely replace in the near future so come and join me on my kitchen tour and i'll show you how i initially organized yes initially because i haven't transferred everything and the kitchen the new kitchen i'll show you the inside of my cabinets as well but again please bear with me this is actually my first time to do this kind of video let's go Okay, we are going to start over on this side of the kitchen where my kids really love. As you can see, this is our coffee machine and a milk frother. They make their own coffee here and it's not going anywhere. So <laughs> it's uh, permanent. And uh, up in this cabinet. Our coffee accessories, straws knock box for ground coffee pods and so on of course some syrup on the upper shelf in this next upper cabinet we have here some cup and saucers the saucers are very cute coffee mugs and drinking glasses this tray is very useful we have some goblets and pitchers serving bowls and more glasses let's now go to the lower or base cabinet this cutlery organizer came with the drawer free i didn't replace it because it will be a waste and so i decided to just use it until i get tired of it it matches the color of my jar anyway in this drawer is where we store our plates it's just enough for our daily use but i haven't transferred everything yet in here and most of my plates and dining utensils are kept in my china cabinet in this third drawer are my bowls of different sizes so that's that in this area I don't want platter on my countertop so i purchased this additional storage for my small appliances like my oven toaster and my small dish dryer uv sanitizer i do love these open shelves it's great for a small kitchen as they provide additional space for your kitchen utensils condiments and decors as well 
Love, love this wooden cutting board and pepper shaker. In this area is my sink. I don't want anything seen in here except this drainer. Of course, these washing pads. Brush, which is great for cleaning the sink. And I bought this from Ikea. I prefer this soap dispenser. It contains this washing liquid soap. It absolutely minimizes clutter. Under the sink are some essential tools and cleaning agents. I also find this pull-out organizer nice and suitable for your extra dishwashing pads, towels, and other stuff. Great for under-the-sink organization. This pull-out bin right here is from IKEA as well. It's big and very convenient to use. Over here are some candles, kitchen cleaning agents, and dish towels. It's best for you to opt for jars instead of shelves, especially if you have deep um, kitchen cabinets. Let's go to my cooking area where my built-in cooktop is. It's a gas cooktop. Up here is my hood built in a cabinet. Below are my gas tank, some strainer, and cooking needs. I use oven with cooktop in the past, but since no one knows how to bake in this house, I purposely did not buy it. The main reason actually was my former helper used it as a pot and pan storage. Can you believe that? In this small pull-out rack are some spices and condiments. Up next is my kitchen island. What I love about this island is it has a small sink. I really love this full set. It's versatile and convenient to use. Just pull it out like so and set it in spray mode or just a regular flow. And this hand soap right here, OMG, I really love this one. It's with personalized label, my name on it. I do love the scent Rosemary. Right here, I have some simple decors like this spotted palm plant, a glass jar, and this cute little wooden candle holder. I think it's unique and beautiful. I also love this marble tray. It's really, really elegant. On this upper drawer here, I have my cooking utensils and gadgets, although I don't cook. <laughs> we have here uh, different kinds of ladles, and I love the wooden ones. We have here some tongs, can openers, which we use every day, and some stuff. In the lower door, we have here a cutting board. It's wooden and it's really nice. Some measuring cups, wooden mortar and pestle, cheese grinder, spatulas, so on and so forth. This hammer tenderizer is very useful. And under the island sink, we have some cleaning essentials as well. Another IKEA pull-out bin.
and this one the plastic garbage bag organizer from ikea it's great for your grocery bags and stuff <laughs> i forgot to show you where my pots and pans are stored so this uh cabinet right here have two drawers and on the upper we have here assorted pots pans the lids are separated so it's easier to grab what you need I don't like clutter right so on the second drawer is a pressure cooker and some frying pans grill pans over on this side of the kitchen is the pantry it's where the small fridge is i intended to put this smaller one for a bigger pantry space i actually have a larger fridge in the dining area which i'm going to show you So the cabinet above the fridge is where my small kitchen appliances are like my blender, food processor, egg cooker, and so on. I can still transfer some of my remaining small kitchen appliances in here and that I will do in the next few days. This is my pantry cabinet. It's very tall so I can't reach the top without a ladder. This pantry cabinet has five pull-out drawers and two shelves. Everything in these drawers needs to be rearranged or organized yet so that it's easier to find the things that are needed, especially ones that are always used on a daily basis. In these drawers are groceries such as seasonings, condiments, dairy products, canned goods, and many others. These are my favorites, actually. <laughs> Popcorn and oats. then in this drawer we have some instant noodles and up there are cup noodles and pancakes also up in the middle are spaghetti some noodles macaroni flour cornstarch some beans raisins sugar coffee creamer dried uh, shiitake mushroom himalayan salt some seaweeds olive oil chinese vinegar <laughs> spices more seasonings and so on this rotating tray which i really love is very useful and practical because it can rotate 360 degrees it makes items easy to be rich and of course on the upper shelf what do we have here we have some snacks cookies biscuits marshmallows some chocolates and crackers many more <laughs> Thank you. 
on the top shelf is where my deep fryer is seldom use that so i put it up and my rice storage and an organizer that you can pull out for easy access below are paper towels and tissue rolls on this shelf are onions garlics ginger and potatoes but some are not available already and i am scheduled to refill this up in this countertop i have a microwave some decors a marble vase faux plant in a cute white vase and this scented candle I also have here a bamboo wine and glass holder which I think it's so cute my dogs are making noise again <laughs> anyway in the center I have two drawers here where I store some of my plates saucers goblets serving plates and bowls and some golden spoons and forks and knives <laughs> love love that area and in the second drawer i get i got some small containers ziploc pouches aluminum foil food dropper and sealer then a salad spinner and on the wall i have a plate rock which i purchased from ikea and they're very beautiful they serve as extra storage for dinnerware which i think is nice to display your set i have bowls plates saucers charging plates on this uh, side i have some goblets and on the hooks are some caps which are so beautiful this wraps up our video for today. I hope you enjoyed watching and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so. I would love to see your comments about this tour also in the comment section. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!